Okay, so we're going to join the point of the story where there's a big battle about to start in the illustrated city. And when, the, when there's a battle in the illustrated city, it's not kind of bombs and bullets and that kind of thing. They use their art equipment to kind of win the day. So we will begin if you're sitting comfortably. Dozens of resistance operatives emerged from the canvas covered transporters and arranged themselves with military precision, pre precision into a large crescent shape just ahead of the convoy. Each one was carrying a large graphite longbow and wearing a na narrow quiver fully stocked with neatly drawn arrows. Then a second wave of artillery operatives appeared, carrying tins of pink and blue paint, which they placed in front of each archer. A third and final wave followed, this time carrying crossbows. They knelt just behind the first wave that was now making up the front line. Knock, bellowed Mrs M. In perfect unison, the standing archers took an arrow from their quivers, loaded it onto their bowstrings and drew them back. Dip! They leaned forward at a 45 degree angle and dipped the tips of their arrows into the paint tins. Aim! They leaned back. Loose! The archers let fly. The volley of colourful arrows flew high through the air, leaving a perfect arc of speckly pink and blue paint droplets in its wake. They soared past the siege tower and over the slow moving big X, clearing the rainbow lake and the crayon fence before exploding in a riot of colour against the white wall of the spire. Peanut's heart leapt. The sight of the previously pristine building getting splattered was extremely powerful. A few seconds later, the kneeling second wave of archers stood up and, as one, moved smoothly past the first, taking the tins of paint with them. Knock! They knelt back down and loaded their crossbows. Dip! They dipped their bolts in the paint. Aim! This time they kept their bows low. Loose! The paint-covered bolts flew horizontally across the open concrete plain and hit their targets hard, smashing into the big X and the razor platoons, turning them a fetching shade of pinky blue and knocking several robots clean over. The battle for the spire had well and truly begun.